Welcome. In today's video tutorial, we're going to talk about how to use color scales in Excel. Thanks to color scales, you'll be able to design a data table with a clear overview of the maximum, the minimum, as well as the middle values. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome to EasyClick Academy. My name's Frank and together with the EasyClick team, we're here to make sure you'll be able to use Excel in a quick and easy way, thanks to our digestible video tutorials. There are a few ways to use Excel graphical features to make your data presentations attractive. In previous tutorials, we went through various kinds of graphs, charts and data bars, among others. Today, we'll have a closer look at color scales. To use this function, you'll need to select the data range to which you want to apply the color scales first. Then, go to the Home tab, find Styles, and click on Conditional Formatting. There are several useful functions hidden here in the Conditional Formatting section. All of them come quite handy when you need to present your data in a clear way. We'll go for the color scales now, and in the window that just appeared, we can select from two types of color scales. The first one contains a scale of three colors, the other one just two. Select the first one, green, yellow, red. Excel immediately applies a scale in these colors on the selected cells. Red color marks the minimum, green color the maximum, and the yellow marks the middle values. Thanks to the different shades of the colors, we're able to find our way through the set of data and spot quickly whether particular values are closer to the minimum or rather the maximum of the range. We're going to move on now and see how we can edit the color scale, or if necessary, how we can remove it. Let's start with the first case, which is editing the color scale. Click on any cell containing the selected data with the color scale formatting. Then, click on Conditional Formatting again and select Manage Rules. Select Edit Rule in the window that just appeared. There's a number of options for editing color scales here. We're going to go only through the basic ones now. In this part, you can still make up your mind whether you want to change to the two color or stick with the three color scale. Below, you can pick specific colors based on what suits you best. In this case, we'll choose this sharp red for the minimum and this intense green for the maximum of the range. Confirm with OK, then click on OK again. Excel will adjust the scale according to the selected settings. If you need to remove the color scale, select Clear Rules in the section Conditional Formatting, then click on Clear Rules from the entire sheet, and that's it. The color scale has been removed from the table. If you found this video useful, you can watch more tutorials by EasyClick Academy and learn about the possibilities with graphical data representation in Excel. Check out the links to the videos in the description below. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a like and watch another video tutorial by EasyClick Academy. Learn how to use Excel in a quick and easy way. Is this your first time on EasyClick? We'll be more than happy to welcome you in our online community. Hit that subscribe button and join the EasyClickers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.